Jam Trader. This is the last call of the deal week here. So we're going to take a look here at crude oil and at natural gas. But first of all, I want to take a look at one of my favorite trades, NVIDIA, NVDA. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted for crude and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy or sell stock on ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have NVIDIA, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, you can see here yesterday, Intel got a, had a really good earnings, and it, it, it catapulted here uh, NVIDIA pretty good. Now, remember, uh, rising tide uh, kind of raises all boats. Uh, NVIDIA is, uh, I think that's going to be a big boy. Now, remember, on November 20th is when their NVIDIA's earnings will be coming out here, and I think they're going to be explosive. We'll have to see. Now, last year, last quarter, I should say, not last year, last quarter, um, they, they were up huge. But again, they had a good run up into it, and they were—they just didn't come out exactly like uh, extreme blowout numbers. So the stock sold off a little bit, but gave you a good buying opportunity. Okay, so let's take a look here. So what we had today is uh, we had a high here of uh, 137.31. Uh, Yesterday we had a high of 137.61, so that makes this an inside day. Okay, your high and low is the inside of uh, yesterday's candle. Now what we're looking for here on the upside is this 21 day. You're looking at 136.50. If we can get above that bad boy, then we're going to look at that one, the uh, 3761 level, and then we're going to come up right here to that 138.89. Uh, that is going to be your eight day. Now, again, if we get above that, then we'll come right to the top of this candle. You're looking at 140.33. We have uh, 142.26. We'll come up here, 143.13. We have uh, 144.13. And then 144.42 is the breakout. You break above that, you can hit that 150 pretty, pretty easy. Now, what we want to look on the downsides, we'll always watch today's low. That's 134.57. And yesterday's low is going to be key. That's going to be 132.11 here, okay? So if you look at here on the chart here, you can see how nicely it held that support all the way across okay now again if that's lost here we just follow the candles down but you got a big target here at 125.46 and the old hondo here sitting at 122 uh was that in that uh yeah 123.14 level here but let's just see how this all shakes out now remember this is the first day of the month usually the first couple days of the month here uh usually uh money comes in here and the stock market is pretty strong now, everybody has to really, really pay attention because next week is going to be the election is going to be on Tuesday. Now, whether we get the results on Tuesday night or Wednesday, we're not sure yet how this is all going to shake out here. But we got a big election going on here and that could affect the stock market and you could get some wet, wild rides. So, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I love that shit. But, you know, again, it all depends on how you trade here. OK, so NVIDIA here, just watch that 21 day. That's going to be key. Watch that eight day. And then we have that big retest, 144.42. See what the reaction is when it gets up to there. Uh, downside, just watch uh, yesterday's uh, a load at 132.11. If not, we come down to 125.46 here, 50 day. And then we have the 100 day here at 123.14. Now you can see how nicely this is. Here we have a low, higher, low, higher, low. That's always a very, very bullish scenario. Now the eight day came down, but you notice it held that 21 day and it's moving right back up here again. So that's going to provide pretty good expo uh, uh, support there. You're looking at 128.92. And then below that here for the week, we're going to have 123.22. So again, just you know, that lines up pretty nice here with the 100 day here. So let's just see how this is all going to uh, shake out here. Um, RSI, plenty of room to run on up here. Your green is still below your red here, but that could curl right back up. And once we get above that 21 day and the 8 day, then I think she could move much higher. Okay, let's take a look here now at crude oil. Okay, here we have crude oil. We have a daily, a weekly, and a monthly. Let's take a look at the daily here first, okay? So you can see here what we are. When, when you look at this here, okay, this pattern here, uh, crude oil right now is still in a downtrend. Okay, see this high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower low, lower low. See this? This is downtrending right here. Until you start breaking up above this candle right here, uh, 72.34, then she's back uh, back on the track here to go higher. But right now we are in a downtrending situation. Now you can see here where we rallied up here today and uh, we got above the 50 day and you went pretty much right into that 21 day and then stopped it short and it came all the way on down. Now here we are, we're below this uh, this eight day, okay? So let's look at the upside here first. So it's going to be that eight day, that 69.71 uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to look to yesterday's high. That's at 70.81 and then we'll look to that 50 day right here at 71.14 and then we have your 21 day above that at 71.53. You break above that, here's your first stop is going to be that 72.34 which is going to be very, very key. If it gets up there, we have to see what the reaction is. Is it going to come on double top, come all the way down here or is it going to break up and hit towards that old hondo up here at 74.97 
or the 200 day 77.16 or 78.46 uh, level. Now there is a bunch of resistance here. You just look at the bottom of that candle. You look at 73.26 uh, uh, here. We look to the top of this candle. You're looking at 74.45, and then we have your 100 day. That's at 74.97, and the right above that we have that 76.24. Then you have your 200 day, and then we have your retest up there of your recent high at 78.46 level here. But right now here we got a, a, a well actually we made a higher high, but we're holding the middle of this candle here. So we got to see how this all shake out. Now, again, this is that war premium. We got to see. It usually takes place over the uh, weekend here. Uh, if Iran is going to retaliate against Israel, they're claiming that they are so we got to see how that's all gonna you know shake out kind of a situation if, if this goes lower you what you want to do is watch this low to 69.39 and then this is going to be key okay you got to look at that high at 69.17 level here and then we have that 69 flat okay now again if that's all lost we'll come over here to yesterday's low 68.30 and then we'll come down to the bottom of this candle 67.28 and then we'll have right here at 66 uh, on 92 and then your big retest 66 72 which is right there those are your key support levels here okay so we got to see how this is we were trading this eight day to 50 to 21 day now that's gone because now we're closed here below the uh, 50 day but this is all a war situation this isn't really what you call a supply and a demand kind of a situation so always remember that okay let's take a look here at the, the old weekly chart here well you can see here we have what they call an indecision candle okay you got that the topper the bottom and then she's stuck right in the center here okay so you really have to get above that 71 uh, a 14 level which would be right in here once you pop above that then we come up right up to that that 72 34 level which is basically right there and then we can zip all the way up here to that 74 94 uh, uh level which is basically that same lines up pretty good with that 100 day but we got to see how this is all going to shake out right now we got a sideways action kind of situation for the week and we have a indecision candle so we got to see how this all is going to shake out here on uh, next week Okay, we look at the weekly chart here, our monthly chart, as I say, always put, put out monthly here. Now you can see where it, it, it's sold right on down here, but so far for the month, we're holding this, this key 100 SMA right here. Okay, you see that? That's at uh, 6501. So uh, we had that we had that uh, test down here at 6527. Then uh, last week we made that, uh, our last month we uh, had that 6633. And now so far this week here, we have an inside week. So far the low was just uh, 69. Uh, 39 here so this is looking here actually we just have a sideways action here but i just what i really want to show you on this here is you can see here okay see this series right here high lower high lower high lower high lower low situation here okay so you have a down trending situation like we do on the daily like we do on the weekly chart here okay so that has to change before this can run up higher okay so that's what you always have to look at you're still in a downtrend okay and today didn't change anything you really have to get above that 7234 then we can go uh higher okay let's take a look here at netty gas okay here we had natural gas here now you can see here we have that this is still a bearish bearish pattern okay so you have low higher low you have a high lower high lower high lower low lower low lower low okay situation and this isn't really telling us nothing because you still have a red candle so again when those futures open sunday night i'll have a video for you here before seven o'clock as usual to get you set up for monday on crude and natural gas and god knows what else we'll throw in the old mix there but again what you want to do here on the downside is just watch that that eight SMA. that's gonna be very very key that's at 2.60 and then watch this 21 day. This is very, very crucial here. This is going to be at uh, uh, 2.55. And then watch the top of this candle because that's the gap bill that's sitting at uh, 2.51. Then right below it, we have this uh, uh, 50 day, 2.45. You have 2.39. That is your 100 SMA here. But uh, so far, let's just see how this uh, uh, eight day and that 21 day hold. Okay, upside here. Well, you're sitting at 2.67. You want to look to the bottom of this candle that's looking at 2.68. Then we'll look at today's high. You're looking at 2.72, and then we'll look right to the bottom there, 2.77. And then we look here at uh, uh, 2.83, and then we come up here at 2.91. Now, I didn't scalp any of the long there today. There was a very, very, there just wasn't anything there that uh, was enough, uh, you know, for me. Okay, uh, but I did get two points out of the KOLD on the short side, so I was happy with that, and now I have no position at all in the natural gas, okay? So here we look on a weekly chart here. You can see where we're just all jammed up here, okay? So you got the, your your eight-day, your, eight your 21-day, your 100-day. Your Everything is sitting right here, and we have what they call that indecision candle here again. So if it rallies on up here, we can maybe uh, uh, go there and, and tag 
everything a situation here. But right now, this is just looking, you know, as I say, uh, nothing. Okay, that, that's what I'm saying. There, there's really nothing here. This is a bearish pattern. There's nothing going on there. So what we need is we're looking for a reversal situation, but so far we don't, haven't got it. Okay, so what we're looking for is a reversal candle, something on this order here. Okay, where this is what they call a red dog, where it comes all the way on down and it looks like it's going to go lower and then it rallies up higher and then she starts to rally going on up here. Or we're looking for here like a double bottom situation. So we have a low, we have a low, and then we just boom, then she takes right on off here. But right now we have nothing. Okay, we have a bearish pattern going down, just like we had here, okay, just like we had here. So again, just trade this. This is not a buy and hold in either direction, you know what I mean? Just trade it. I've been trading on the short side because when I see the red candle, the next day I see a lower, uh, a low, and I see a lower low, I don't see anything. And today I'll set up to maybe do a little scalp scan on the, on the UNG for the long side, but there just wasn't anything. The, the KOLD on the short side, the two points was just an easy, just an easy trade. Okay, that's what I got for you. I'll be back here uh, Sunday night there. At, uh, I usually make the video here after 6. You'll have it there about 6.30 or so uh, to get you all ready there for Monday. I will usually do crude oil, natural gas, and then we'll see how everything shakes out. But again, just remember, we have an election coming up on Tuesday, and the market could just get extremely volatile. Depends on who uh, gets in the old office. Okay, everybody have a great weekend, and uh, watch those Lions beat Packers. I think they can do it. I'm a gold lions, okay? And then we'll see you Sunday night. All right, thanks for watching.